today I want to talk about the importance of filling your master cylinder correctly. Now, if you notice, on a lot of master cylinders, there'll be a max line. I highlighted this one so you could see it a little bit better. It's hard to see sometimes. There might be a max line, might even a minimum line. But the max line is what I'm worried about right now we're going to talk about. The max line is never filling the master cylinder all the way up to the very top. What happens in a brake system as you're braking, your calipers are getting hot because you're, you're applying the brakes. Well, that caliper gets hot, the brake fluid gets hot. When the brake fluid gets hot, it expands. When that fluid expands, the path of least resistance is to go back up through the brake lines, back up into this reservoir. In fact, if you start out with the brake fluid at the max line, and you drive your car and get the brakes hot and get out and check your brake fluid, it's going to be above the max line. But that's okay because it's hot brake fluid. It'll go back down when it cools down. But my, what happens if you fill it all the way up to the very top and you don't allow for that expansion for the hot brake fluid, those, that hot brake fluid is going to actually start applying your brakes while you're driving. Now that's going to make your brake pads wear out prematurely. It's going to overheat the brakes even more, causing the whole process to even accelerate quicker. So my advice to you, when you do your brake job and you're all done, make sure that that brake fluid is, is at that max line and above the minimum line. That's the key.